this is part two of the video and I removed the pad in here or the bushings or whatever the packing so that I can stabilize the battery from wobbling so I took two of them I just push it forward and backwards push it just rocking it and um, it came out and it has a heavy duty tape here you can see there's another tape they normally use for like packaging like boxing like the cardboards if you're moving use those kind of tapes so I'm trying to take these guys out carefully I don't want to use any uh, blade to cut it I think there's a sensor right here so I just want to remove it so if I'm replacing back it's gonna be like a peel and stick so some like this stay tuned so I was able to prep this thing and uh, trying to take this heavy tape just be careful they just run a bunch of uh, tape on this guys carefully I think these are the cells right here I can see there's a wire the wire here I'll make this one carefully out okay bypass that one okay there's a tape that went over there and another one all behind okay I think there's the positive wire stay tuned well if I'm trying to assess the build here the tape is just like a cloth tape and if I try to assess the build here uh, well if you don't open this thing you don't see how great this thing was built and it's just a whole bunch of padding you know it's not that great built you know on my first video while we 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 thought this thing was a great build and um something um it's it's too flimsy and it's not that much professional at all as we thought when you see it and the bms is like soldered and you can see how i don't know if you can catch it with the camera it's like a, it's not even a spot welding it's just like someone learning like some of us how to solder see so it doesn't have a terminal or log like this guy here where you can able to tie it just like any of the bms it has the uh the terminal ring but look at that they even missed the the welding the soldering here you know like a whole bunch of uh like a new person it's not like any uh company um professional soldering that's one of the other thing there's an x right here i don't know what it is and i don't think there's any wire here or maybe they missed that okay i think this is um the the minus the first wire that ties to the negative here the b minus that and that's supposed to be one all right guys this is the voltage the meter right here we want to make sure we stick the probe right here which is the negative just to hold it okay if we have the probe right here you see there's a six volt we're supposed to be studying at a three point something and this is supposed to be the six volt and here supposed to be the 12 volt so the b minus here or the black wire which is the negative you can see that is the positive right here so where is the the other cell there's only three cells here where is the fourth one so 
minus right there so we'll put a probe right here it reads the 6.66 .66 is the same terminal this one here this has one cell so let's check this out it gives you the 13.3 where is the other cell it's one two three so it's a three BMS wires here right here see how poor is the, the the soldering see how poor it is it's terrible see that like the 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 soldering iron, uh, wire iron I think is kind of hot look at this they put a one solder didn't get it for the first time they got a second one there and look at this one you can see how this thing is poorly soldered so they want an honest review I'll give them one and they don't have to be upset with me I'm just giving them what they want us to do this is the final touch look at the soldering it's really really poor it's not like a, a company that really uh, want to do something good they have a lot to improve on to work on so so they mark that this one for the technician to know this is the positive one and that's the uh, negative right here <clears throat> the first wire on the b minus this goes is supposed to be a second wire something somewhere and this is supposed to be like a third one because read a six point something after this supposed to read like six something and that's supposed to be the final the 13 or 12.8 or 13 whatever so where is the third cell because on the bms here i can only see three wires like i said i don't want to destroy the battery completely so we'll see it's like a glue or something i don't know <clears throat> It's melted on that thing. It's really hard to to trace what it is. The first cell is going to be back here. I think the second cell is here, which is the six point something. Okay. And, uh, and the other cell is supposed to be This is how it's wired. So the first cell sits from this guy right here. So here is the negative, the B minus. So the first cell is gonna come back here. We touch this guy, the 3.325, and back here again, I'll be no and this one will be the second cell okay so the opposite direction the six something back here is the other one right here So this is the third cell. And here is the fourth cell right here. So they went like um, number one, like number two, number three, and number four. Okay. So the cells are set up in a, a zigzag position or staggering formation. So see this side has the two and four. I marked them already. I put them so I can able to trace it. And the other side here, this is number one cell, number three. So what we're going to do now, we have the probe hooked up to this. 
So let's try and measure the voltage. So like I marked the, the cells is number one right here. So we'll put a probe right there. And it is the 3.32 volt, number one. And we have to come on the other side here, which is number two. And it read the uh, 6.65. So we have to move to the other side here, number three. And we have the 9.98. And we come into number four, which is the red wire now. And the BMS gives us this one. Okay. So this is what we want to find. And this is how the BMS um, they arrange the BMS. So this is the battery or this is the cell that we have a problem with. So what we're going to do, we have to charge this battery, hook up the charger and got this probe on the minus side here, which is on the B minus, the black wire. And um, we have to touch this guy right here to give us this voltage. So we want to see this voltage rise, okay? Stay tuned. The reason we're doing that, we want to activate the balance, so we want to increase this, uh, the, the cell, the voltage on this cell. We're working on that. 